Hello and welcome, Simon here. Last episode of Become a Game Dev, we thought about creating our own main character. We immediately encountered difficulties, where to start. I'm honest, creating a main character is very time consuming. So take enough time and the will to overrule your ideas. What exactly does this mean? Creating a main character? There's so much what you need to define. You can't just start drawing. It's not only the appearance itself, you need to create a personality. So I wanna list three basic development processes. Brainstorming, drawing, rethink and testing. The single process can be confined and blend into each other and shouldn't be done one by one. However, I would definitely start with 1. Brainstorming. Before we can begin to design, we should know what kind of character do we need. So take a sheet of paper and a pencil and make a mind map by noting down special characteristics. It's important to create a nice profile. Personal appearance, social environment, characteristics and habits, motivation and personal urges, past of the character. Search as many references as possible. We have done this as well with our main character of Cortex, Peak. I will adopt this profile for our new painting today, which will be my next step. 2. Sketches and drawing. Try and fail, but never fail to try. Finding a meaningful appearance of a main character can be a very long process. With the help of our mind map, we have the characteristics of this person as our reference and we are able to narrow down the design. Just start sketching and sketching and sketching till you find parts and elements you like. Try to implement all the characteristics of your character. Make as many doodles as possible. Feel free to be creative. Bring all the elements together, which you like most. Personally, I start now to define those sketches by creating further concepts like outline drawings. You are able to test all colors you like and combine them with the outlines. Place each version next to each other so you can find out which concept you like most. Congratulations! You have found the design of your main character. For now. 3. Rethink and change. Your job is not done when you have found a design you like at the moment. Particularly, you haven't found a design of your world and the rest of your characters. It is possible that the design will change in future. Always keep in mind which kind of person you want to create. You need to know how it will walk and move. Be open-minded for new ideas. Maybe restart your design and create something completely different. This is just an advice I have learned by myself in the past. I need to say that we haven't restarted with the design of our main character. To put it simply, we redesigned the whole first island of Cortex after I finished my first concept. It was the best decision I have made. As well, I want to mention that you can draw as well a very high detailed concept of your main character next. This depends on your purpose and time and if it is necessary, for example a realistic look of your game character. If you don't have to draw it, let it be. Maybe you will redesign your character very soon. For our game Cortex, it wasn't necessary for the game itself. However, I drew it because we needed it for our homepage. This is just my way how I would start the process of design and ideas. I am very interested if you have made other experiences and found different ways for a design. Let me know what you think about this and which character you like most. Feel free to give this tutorial a like and subscribe us for further game development tutorials. Cheers!